At Infragistics, our goal is to create simplicity, beauty, and happiness in the world one app at a time. In the next couple minutes, we'll take a look at how we did that in the new product release for Ultimate 21.2. In 21.2, we focused on three areas. Hyper productivity with App Builder, our new WYSIWYG web IDE for app building, which also includes a complete design to code platform. The second area we focused on are new innovations and new experiences in modern web platforms like Blazor, Angular, React, and Web Components. And then finally, full support for what you need to build for .NET 6 and Visual Studio 2022. The big news for App Builder in 21.2 is Blazor code generation. So this coincides with the .NET 6 release, which has improvements across WebAssembly and Blazor server. Our goal with App Builder is to deliver an entire WYSIWYG app building experience for you so that you don't have to worry about the complexity of HTML, CSS, and web layout. It really brings back a Visual Basic-like experience to building screens. With this release, we've added the Blazor dropdown so you can generate code to Blazor. You can still publish directly to GitHub or download a zip file of your code. And of course, you can preview your code in real time to see the Blazor output. Using App Builder can save you up to 80% of your time building screens and avoiding bugs in the app creation process. To support App Builder, we've shipped 17 new controls that enable the WYSIWYG drag and drop experience in the tool. This includes everything you need on top of the controls we already ship, like data grid, data chart, Excel spreadsheet, and many others. In the React, Blazor, and Web Components grid, we've shipped much requested features that will help you deliver amazing interactive experiences to your users, like Interactive Outlook Group Buy with different options for how you can display this to your users. We've also shipped a filter row, which gives you the ability to do any type of filter based on the type of the column. So for example, I can say that this city column should contain TRO for Toronto, and maybe I want birthdays to be in the year 1996. So very innovative ways of filtering to deliver great experiences to your users. We've also added the ability to do cell merging. So here's an option to merge cells only when sorted. And this gives you again new types of experiences that you can deliver to your users including the ability to load and save layouts. In this example I will remove some columns from the grid I'll pin a column or two to the left. I will save this layout. Then I'll go back and I'll deselect all and I'll leave those unpinned and I will load this back up and you can see that I have the same grid that was saved previously. We continue to innovate in Angular, which is by far the most complete Angular tool set on the market today. With this release, we've updated all controls, components, and the CLI to Angular 13, including the output from App Builder. We also continue to deliver new components and new experiences to your users. This includes the new stepper control, which allows you to have step-by-step -step process really in any UI that you choose for your users. We've also delivered a simple combo, which gives you a dropdown that has autocomplete clearing. And we continue to improve in areas like export to Excel. With this release, the export engine supports features like pin columns and multi-group headers. So if I click the export on this grid, you'll see that the columns that I had pinned in the grid stay pinned in the Excel library in the exported Excel file, as well as the multi-column headers. And finally, .NET 6 support across all Ultimate products, including Windows Forms, WPF, ASP.NET MVC, ASP.NET Core, and Blazor. This also includes full support for Visual Studio 2022. To get your hands on 21.2 today, go to infragistics.com forward slash products forward slash ultimate and click download now or log into the customer portal to get your updates. To read detailed blogs on the updates for every platform, go to infragistics.com forward slash community forward slash blogs.